Hello, hello, matriculants, incorporating students who are breathing their metric, and geography teachers, and people who are curious and learning more about geography. Um, today, we're going to be discussing back winds today. Today, we're going to be talking about back winds, okay? Yeah. So, we're going to be learning about back winds, okay? Yeah. So, what are these back winds? Back winds are warm, dry winds that are caused by the subsiding air during winter in the interior of South Africa. And when they hit the plateau, they move from west to the east direction down the escarpment. And when they move down the escarpment, they continue to hit adiabatically with its slab rate of 1 degrees the 100 meters until they reach the coastal low. Until they reach this coastal low. You know, we have coastal low here. Just on the coastal line of South Africa. This is a cross section of a bad wind, by the way. You can see this is a cross section. This is a cross section. We also have a synoptic weather map. Yeah. We can also show it in a synoptic chart. Um, yeah. But this one is a cross section. Yeah, you know a synoptic weather map, ne? Yeah. So this is whereby they are going to draw the interior of South Africa or South Africa. And you know the interior is the plateau. Just in the middle, your Houteng and so on. And your escarpment. This is whereby going down from Houteng to Durban. You know? Yeah. And the coastal areas here, your East London, your Cape Town. Your Port Elizabeth, um, which is also known as Gabeja, your Naisna. All of these coastal areas, Richards Bay, um, and so on. They are going to be here. But here, it's down the escarpment, places on the escarpment, you know? Yeah. But here, places on the plateau, uh, much more areas like our North, Eastern Cape, your the Free State, Bloemfontein, the Gauteng, and so on, you know, yeah, and your Northwest um, province is here, mostly here, um, and so on, yes, okay, so this is the cross-section illustration of a backwind, you know, yeah, you should also, I think you also understand that this is the same as, um, as a as a synoptic chart, you know, yeah. So, what happens basically for these back winds to form? You know, in winter, in winter, this is whereby you can also see the coastal low, you know, yeah. So, you know, in winter, in winter, um, the Kalahari high is dominant in the land. The Kalari, high pressure, anti-cyclone. The Kalari anti-cyclone or the Kalari high is dominant in the land of South Africa in winter. So this means there is more subsiding air hitting the, the land of South Africa. There is more subsiding air. Let me draw this subsiding air. Let me draw this subsiding yeah. So that means there's high pressure. There's very, very high pressure with clear skies. And so in our skies, we have clear skies. So that I don't forget to tell you. There's more subsiding air. You can see this is subsiding air. Subsiding. A. 
or you can also say or sinking a sinking a and subsiding a is same thing same meaning and so on yeah subsiding or sinking a so this subsiding a you know as the air from the atmosphere subsides down, downwards during winter in south africa to hit the plateau of south africa to hit the land of south africa it hits adiabatically with its lapse rate of one degrees celsius per hundred meters so this means that this air from the atmosphere as it goes down to hit south africa causing high pressure it hits that means it becomes hotter very very hotter so when the time or when the moment it hits the interior of south africa it becomes it, it it's it's very very hot you know yeah this air it's very very dry and hot it's it's not humid no it's not humid it's warmer and drier you know it's very very hot so this air as it goes down it hits adiabatically it hits with adiabatic adiabatic lapse lapse rate of 1 degree celsius per 100 meters yes so so per 100 meters this air is going down it will hit it will add its temperature by 1 degree 1 degree in each and every 100 meters until it hits the land so that means it's going to become warmer you know yeah so this is its lapse rate it hits adiabatically so um yes so this very very hot subsiding air and now it hits south africa it's very very dry you know yeah it's very very dry it hits south africa and start to move you know the calorie high the calorie anticyclone you know yeah this is an anticyclone ah no this one is on this side this is an anticyclone this is an anticyclone so this air you can see the direction and this you see this arrow this one yes it moves these winds this direction you see yeah so you know it's very very hot and dry this wind yeah so it hits the land of south africa and affect um residents of south africa and affects uh the, the ecosystem affects um the, 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 the fields of South Africa because it's very very hot and dry and affects the plants as I said the ecosystem so it also goes down as I said as I explained the escarpment down the escarpment it moves down the escarpment down the escarpment and also as it moves down the escarpment it continues to hit Adiabatical because you can see down the escarpment, it's um, it's a low lying area. It's become it, it's going to a low lying area again. So it's going to hit again. Adiabatical with with its lapse, lapse rate of one degree Celsius per hundred meters. You know, yeah. So the same thing here occurs. You can see occurs here, yeah. Until it reaches or along the coastal low pressure. These winds stop burning um, or blowing when they reach the coastal low pressure to wash the to wash the coastal low pressure away. You know, yeah. So it stops. You know, yeah. So let me repeat it again. As it moves down the escarpment, it continues to hit adiabatically with its lapse rate of one degree Celsius per hundred meters. I think now you understand yes yeah so um yes that's how it goes 
And lastly, in fact, I'm repeating it. This, eh, as it hits adiabatically again and again in the escapement, as it continues, it becomes hotter and drier. You know, yeah, it becomes hotter and drier. Let me just write um, some important um, features here on the side for you guys. So to write notes for you guys, uh, things that you should note down is that these back winds or the subsiding air or the sinking air, let me say subsiding air. Okay, back winds okay in winter, ne? Yeah, in winter, just before, just before the cold front hits South Africa. That's the, that means just before the mid latitude cyclone hits South Africa, back winds takes place. Yes, that's it. Subsiding air, subsiding air um, hits adiabatically in the Kalahari, in the Kalahari high. This is the Kalahari high, ne? Subsiding air in the Kalahari high hits. Adia vertically with its laps rate of one degrees Celsius per hundred meters. Then what happens? The air moves, you can say, um, from north westerly direction or from northwestern regions of South Africa moving from these um, this Kalahari high the plateau down the escarpment air move down the escarpment this back winds okay move down 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 there escarpment these back winds move down the escarpment continuing continuing to hit uh, to hit with its adjustment left rate to hit with it's adiabatic lapse lapse rate causing hotter drier hot drier conditions Conditions in the interior. In the interior of South Africa. This is South Africa. Yes, in the interior of South Africa until they meet they meet or move. Along the, the coastal, the coastal zone. Pressure. Yes. So, yes, the other thing is that um, they okay before. They okay. Back winds okay. Ahead of front which this is called front a mid latitude cyclones a mid latitude cyclones 
yes amid latitude cyclones yes that's it i think uh, i gave you all of the information about big winds and so on and please guys make it sure that um, we do a lot of revision but with me yes make it sure that you do a lot of revision with me yes 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 there are some videos uh, with a lot of revision yes 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 okay also not to forget um these bad winds you know they bring they bring bad winds they bring water drier conditions which are uncomfortable which causes which causes discomfort this car which causes discomfort to the to the people of South Africa to the people of South Africa and also they can cause they can cause felt this is felt fires we saying is it called Sangamatafa? They can cause felt fires. Yes, they can cause felt fires. And also the other thing is that you know after felt fires the ecosystem will die. Yeah, yeah. The ecosystem will die. Um farmers will struggle in terms of drawing crops. And other crops of farmers, other crops belonging to to farmers, we will die because of these um, bad winds, which are drier, which makes the crops drier, which makes the plants drier. So the plants will die, you know, yeah, and so on. They have a negative impact in human life in South Africa. Yes, we're going to discuss more about um, the effects and the impacts. When we are doing question papers thank you so much guys make it sure you subscribe like um, 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 ring that um, notification button and do uh, all of this stuff guys but make it sure that you subscribe to my channel please guys please thank you so much see you in the next lesson boom